Sabbath. Yeah, man. Nice to come back again. Long time. Long, uh, uh, what about the church uh, again? And nice to look in the church. is full and complete. And, you know, the church is just moving. Nice to look in people. There are some remnants of uh, people who are still here. Maybe we don't stop around uh, 20, more than 25, course, of going 30 years. But then today, it's about stewardship, but stewardship and our speech. But before that, of course, they said, I'm um, the stewardship uh, is more than promoting the living offering. Yeah, man. Promoting and wherever I go, promote is giving thing. <laughs> the Bible is very quite clear. God owns everything. You own how many? Nothing. nothing. You own nothing. Have a principle. God entrusts you with everything you have. So bank account to you, car to you, house to you, you celebrate. You do not own yourself. It belongs to God. Psalms 24. Yeah, but the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everyone may stop having that includes you. You own nothing, not even yourself, my brother. He owns your tongue. He owns you. Yeah, man. And of course, you may increase or decrease what God has given you to you, but God wants you to increase it. <laughs> you see, what a debate with, with, within that one. Well, the man with the tool, uh, what is it? Uh, one talent, yeah, man. I'm not going to increase it with the thing. You know what I'm doing? God, take him and give him one money. So, hey, you are slot for seven. You know, fit. Yeah, man. And of course, God can call you into account anytime. Anytime. Ah, I've seen people eating dust, my friend. When you know you're holding back something, I have a God. Yeah, man. Let's continue. Yeah. Let's say, give unto the Lord the glory to you unto his name, bring an offering and come into the cross. The way I read this thing, church. You don't come inside of work or worship, inside of house go to empty handed. You don't come empty handed. Offering is part of worship. And if you come empty handed, you are not complete. You don't complete it of worship. Because worship is that coming, uh, coming, give and give, give unto the Lord the glory due to Him and His name. Bring an offering and come into His courts. And uh, well, let's like, take it from this. This experience of the of the children of Israel, I'm very interested in Deuteronomy 16, verse 16 and 17. Although there's a lot of views in this, how to theologians uh, give some views on them, but I just the principle remains. The principle remains three times a year shall males appear before the Lord, or can receive him there, the Lord God, in the place which we shall choose, in the feast of the unliving bread, and in the feast of the weeks, and in the feast of the tabernacle, we don't worry about the feast. What I'm interested in this is this. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty. No. I want to take this seriously. Even if somebody comes to visit church no more, nobody will look in front of the church. They will look nice to us. Well, don't come in behind it. Because God is in this place. Wherever there's a church supposed to be going on or empty, knowing what I have, God is here all the time. This is His house. Yeah, man. Let them make me a sanctuary. That I may dwell among them. That's instruction from God. So He's here. And I believe when you come to God, we tell Him about the church, we minister, put Him on our bed of that. Or we want to go look in church for a month and then church a little bit. You come inside, bring an offering and come to His court. Not come in here and if you want to visit this. God is here 24 hours a day. Yeah, man. Well, so much for that. We provide Him a little bit offering. Because I'm. Stewardship leader on top of there, and everywhere I go, we want to do this. So let's go to our subject now. Stewardship and our speech, yes, our need of divine intervention to control our speech. Wow. And the uh, incredible thing is, Jason. Yeah, man. Recognize the incredible powers of your word. What really is here, man? Some people are sticking stones and words, but the words cannot, I tell you. I'm hitting right note. That man. <laughs> ah. What? Brethren, be not many masters, knowing that, that we shall receive the greater condemnation of interest in the chainsaw analogy. The man, the man that uses the chainsaw once a year, by most way. 
He's probably the whole, uh, probably a whole lot more careful and slow because he doesn't use it all the time. Change of Man, we use it all as well. Ah. This one, yeah, we use it, you know. And use it all the time, so he's, uh, he can't become careless. But use him change though. Change so I tell you, once you cut him man, he lay down wrong a little bit and touch him a little bit, I think I believe you. You could buy a finger, you know. Yeah, man. Well, the point is this. A very interesting and then some serious, some interesting analysis. On average, women speak 16,125 words per day, and men speak 15,669 words per day. What do for women to talk about too much? <laughs> You know, my and you want to stop office, any prime minister of this country should never to talk too much now. <laughs> 15,669 words every day, and a woman now. I tell you, but see the bottom three, look there. Talk, talk, go ahead now, count one, two, three, and you're into the statistics, and I tell you, it's not talking about glory to God in the highest. Somebody will have one skip, die now. Somebody will have one skip, die now. I'm interested to hear what now. And if this thing is spear, it's like a needle when fly, I think if a woman will give him himself, maybe talk about women and stuff of market. A red flag on him. Oh, look, he put him out. What a matter. Arrow come from what a matter. I tell you. And I wonder how many of those words we are careful versus carefree me. You mind those words. It hurts people. Yeah, man. Let's go. <laughs> hey, uh, your words have power to the record line. James 3 verse 2. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in the word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. I salute you. Yeah, man. If you were. I'm going to hurt him anyone. If you keep bring comfort to somebody, and then somebody, you know, is just basically comforted because of your word, praise the Lord. You use your word blue correctly. Yeah. Well, your words have the power to direct life for you. So the point? The more common and familiar something is, What's the way? The easier it is to take it lightly that we become careless. Careless. So we speak to people. If people, before we talk, yeah. That's what happened though. Obviously, what before? Yeah, man. Before we even come out to the nation and address, all the advisors line up here. Line up. Every sentence is correct. Everything by tell is correct. You don't mislead in anyone. Do, 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 do. And straight was then. Before you be gone. But you bang, 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 bang. You're bound to say something is wrong. Something wrong. Yeah, man. Let's go. James chapter 3 and verse 1. This must be very painful for this team. You know how they steal this thing? How do they steal? I wish that maybe even during the throne of Solomon too. I think between Bridal and more most probably. <laughs> That's how they see these things, how they control this thing. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. Why? Because we put in something. Well, we will come to who? Now should be the man we put in so bright. Let's go, very fast. If you are allowed one hour, one pass the other, say one hour, speak to him. Yeah. Ah, very interesting. Behold, also, the ships, the ships which, though they be so great, and are driven of fierce wind, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor, least governor, actually, Captain Man. You know. Big ship, yeah. He can turn the course of it. James is building an argument there. And just, just go, just bear with us as we build this argument with him. With him. James, 
And so he said, the connection. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts that great things build how great a mother. He was fire. Somebody say some wrong things to somebody. I tell you, never we are out there or somebody's one more one top house, one top go for house and uh, ah big group cause I'm house that no pressing or silly blood now. What a corner money, pussy go to corner. You turn something, you turn something say money. So what I would say, hey, you gotta come down looking for what a good money fighting one top people. We will run down from one top come down. Come down and we got her. What now? What is that? Brother, serves you right. You're strong now. You tell him something, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah. You go with it. Bear it. Huh? Yes, right? Small gun. Big fire can be caused. Connections. He that keep in his mouth, keep in his life through now. Ah, 
Uh, I tell you, we were in Robert Kama. I don't know if you've heard the story. We were, we were, we were, we were school. I think we come down, we come out of school, come out, and I was already in town when a big story comes from Solomon. Big story, text from the time. There was no one in show. Facebook was uh, something so. Uh, Telex message come through, and the message was this. Daddy in thy place. Leslie is in place. I marvel. All the kids and people want to talk now. Go on here. If you want to come, big story things not happen today. You need the people go together and sit down and what tell them the role. Daddy in thy place. This is probably going to be Daddy died in his thought. Why you mean? He was arranging funeral for him. He was arranging by body count. He was arranging by body count. So why you mean waiting body back? So, message go back now, so now. So how now my body block daddy in car? Hey! No more! Daddy did not die. Daddy did not die. The story was him. Daddy changed his name for him. I mean, no longer daddy now, he's now called Leslie. Now, this man used to be my CEO. <laughs> Leslie Galomola, what the story about this old man? She doesn't have a problem. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Daddy changed his name to him. I'm no longer called daddy. This time, his name to him, I mean, Leslie. So, daddy type this, Leslie, it is in place. Yeah, the wrong things can be said, I think. So careful the way we say things. He has, I tell you, time news for all man or down man. Got a lot of I'm going to put a holy push now. It's a good thing. It's not. It's not that wrong message. You can cause a lot of hard eggs, man. By not careful in what you say. You know, simple things like this. Careless man of expression. <laughs> I can say this. Come. <laughs> the simple calm, the way it is expressed, it was good. Look at everybody up our safe for good now. Because I can say, calm, brother. Oh, I can look very angry. <laughs> Same simple word, using different words. Yeah, man. The story was told of this man, a psychologist who uh, will give this lecture. He came in, he came in, and uh, everybody had no arrangement. He was pre-arranged and he came in and started lecturing up, started lecturing up. Door burst open, bam! And somebody came in, pulled out the banana, pointing on everyone. I put the banana go back, he said, and now we go back, everything is over. Everything. I want to steal this. <laughs> Somebody stand up. Somebody came in with a pistol, shot us all, and then left. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, Mr. Sir. Okay, now what? What did you see? Same. Throughout the class, everybody, but then somebody came in with a pistol and shot him. Everyone said, cool down, all of you. Cool down. What you saw was this. Somebody came in, very aggressive man, came in, pulled out a banana. And in his, with his mouth, pretend to shoot you all and me. make the sound of a kind of mouse, but put the banana back and then go back. <sighs> so simple words and actions, the way it is, man, well, can cause a lot of problem. Yeah, man. Let's go very quickly. First principle, recognize the power of our words. That's right. Only Jesus can help us to control our tongue. What and what? That's James chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. That's not very fast. Believe that only Jesus can control your speech for every kind of beast and every birds and serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and have been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. It is a truly evil, full of poisons. 
We look at people who are feeding snakes in Africa. And somebody actually feeding a lot of snakes. Snake, 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 you want to pull the house back. And you know, snake, you all about too. It's a cobra. You know, same with the round one coming. You sit down with him over there. You go to bed and sleep with him on. James is correct. You can tame these things. Yeah, man. I don't know what they tame or they don't walk at all. You know, sir, what now? Yeah, man. But uh, tongue, poison, man. Poison. Let's go. Why? You have a bad sauce. That's what James said in James chapter 3, verse 11 to 12. Doth a fountain stand forth at the same place, sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear all in Paris? Either a white fig, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh, straightforward language, no? You cannot take in water and salt from the same well. If it's sour, something is wrong with that well. And source no more, it depends on what can source now is for a word and come out from. Yeah man, let's go. You can only draw water from a water well, not water and salt at the same time. You can only three, yeah man, bear only fruit, and of course, uh, from, and the uh, fig tree, fig tree, you know, planting cassava and putting more potato. Yeah, simple. Yes, so. The point is this, the same mouth, the same mouth, if the source is not correct, I'm coming and take my life and let it be. God's secret, Lord, that you will fall down now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Then you go back more, backbiting, gossiping, slandering, posting unchristian messages in social media to hurt people, cursing, same mouth. Wake up, Christians. You cannot have the same thing come out of your mouth. Yeah, man. Okay, man. Something is wrong with the heart. Something wrong with the source. Something wrong with the relationship of that person with Jesus Christ. You cannot have that person. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And then gossiping and swear to others. Can't. No, my ministry at the mouth. That's hypocrisy. Your heart is the source of all your words. Luke chapter 4, 6 to 25. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring it forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bring it forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart is the mouth speaking. Heart no more. That's where this thing comes from. If you've got a good heart, it's all Jesus Christ and everything that they're doing for life now. Time of the soil of this morning to turn on. Then looking people start to gather together and start what have you let's do in this world of soil this one man. You don't want to take part in that one because that's not what Christians should do. You will only see that person talking about Jesus Christ and him crucified. But of course, if you got dirty heart, it's your friend something not come out. Simple. Simple. Let's run very fast. If any man among you seem to be religious and branded not his tongue, but deceiving his own heart, this man's religion is in vain. We can come to church, we can hold big Bible, we can have whole offices in the church, and if this is not between him and the teeth again, who you are. Simple. Clean heart, produce clean, yeah? clean, encouraging, soothing words. Dirty and polluted heart produce dirty, discouraging, and distasteful words. People don't want to hear anymore. But when a Christian do over there, you can only pray like that. You can some fair enemies of seven, maybe in the level five o'clock. You can cross again night. Yeah, man. Only pray like that. Because that's the only source. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. That should be our prayer every day when we wake up in the morning. Yeah, man. I will be confronting things. I will be attending meetings. I will be saying things. I will be doing these things. Please, God, control this heart. So when you sit down a meeting, yeah, man. Jesus, come out. Even if it's an important meeting. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, I need a 
every useless one. Any more idea more? <laughs> we don't say anything about me. They, this is this is do with it, the, 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 the skill in chair meetings. Some of the people in the office, some of the people in the meeting, no one. Then if the man says, I believe for the good, believe for the good, believe for the The church collapsed now. You got things like that. Yeah, man. You need, you need God's intervention. No, anything more. You cannot clean yourself. You cannot. You only need the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in this world. No more, no more, no more, no more. Yeah, man. Yes, let's continue. Wow. God promises to give us a new heart. And God loves to give us a new heart. Speaking to Ezekiel, a new heart also. Will I give you? Definitely. Will I? Will I get put it within you? I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. That's God's commitment to Christians. You ask Him, He will give. That's what He says. Yeah, man. Because you are His agents. Oh, my dad looks nice to us. I don't look nice. Yeah. The moment you may trust in Jesus, yeah, man. What happened? What happens? You don't see him anymore. You don't see him anymore. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Yeah, man. New creature, the old things passed away, the old new things have come. It's not only painting that person up. No, that person is transformed into the likeness of Jesus Christ. Barabba, barabba. No any way about it. Let's end this thing, Corsa. Amen. This is a some, 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 this is a quote, I think they reference to it is later. A man, after all, is not a tree, a point, there is a caveat. The natural process of a plant, life cannot exactly be compared to the willing, deciding process of human life. But, whatever its limits, the imagery conveys an important warning. Only, and this is the point, only a renewed heart can produce pure speech. And consistently, though not perfectly, Pure speech is to be the product of a renewed heart. There you are. What's the source of your heart? What's the source? Yama. James chapter 3, verse 14 to 17. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be arrogant and so lie against the truth. That's the source. That's where those words come from because you harp on those things. Jealousy, selfish ambition, what it was. This wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but it's earthly, natural, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing in verse 17. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy and good fruit, unwavering without hypocrisy. Amen. That's the kind of love that Jesus is wanting for you. Now, of course, as we drive this thing, would your words be characterized by bitter jealousy and self ambition? Verse 14. If that's the kind of speech that they're characterizing, like for me, James and Italian, source, those words you see, go hard for you, and the source of your heart is earthly, natural, demonic, and the very opposite of the heart of flesh. Yama. We can put all this up. We can put this in work again. You, com you compare this to what? That's what it is. I will ascend above the heights of the club. I will be like the most high. This kind of heart and time. Bring what it was. Yama. Versus, of course, the heart of flesh. He swears his own hurt and does not choose. This is the person who keeps his words. Yama. Wow. That's right. Yeah, let's, let's move on. So let's just see some comparison here. Then we should call it the idea very concept. Ungenerated heart, earthly, national, demonic, general, generated heart, wisdom from above, up, angry, hateful speech from unmet expectation because this person and he wanted something and then no comes or blame it on somebody, speech that is morally upright, 
Yeah, Mark, and then your ungenerated heart, discontented speech, then makes it clear you want things you don't have. Yeah, Mark. And what and more? Peaceable speech that puts out fires, arguments, and fights, and promotes unity. Speech that is aimed to elevate yourself no matter the cost to others. You don't care. Yeah, I don't care if you're this person and you hurt. I don't care if uh, anything happened on my end, as long as I'm worried. Yeah. Wow. Gentle words that are spoken in a manner that demonstrates concern for the other person's feelings. Reasonable words that invite dialogue and discussion rather than shutting down the communication and conversation. Words of mercy, words that communicate patience and forgiveness and love for your neighbors. And of course, without hypocrisy, your yes means yes and your no means no. And that kind, of course, the result is peace. On that side, you know what? The result is disorder. Simple. I don't need to argue this thing. So, if any man among you seem to be religious, and all of us are, we're coming to church every Saturday. In the case of other Christians, call every Sunday. We are religious. We come to church because we are religious. Yeah. If any man among you seem to be religious and brightly not his tongue, but deceiving his own heart, this man's religion is vain. In other words, worthless. You might not, you might as well not come, not to know. Because you're harboring this time. Don't come. Stay out. Stay out. And especially seven day Adventist Christians. We boast some of the highest spirit in the world. Miss Orena. I'm a son of this country. You know, hard to for family, Moshe Loma. This is a man over sworn it. Yeah, man. Brown, that's Jesus. Hey, no more. 
can't take it. He's just very serious. Because when you appear before the judgment seat of God, you don't appear as some liar. No. You appear covered by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And if ever the Abraham speak out that my father, God, heaven, look at the Abraham, me, you're not that, my friend. I must be completely covered with the righteousness of Jesus. So that's what Christianity is about. Time of the look at you, Lord God. Time of the look at her and you talk to Time of the look at you, how you dress up. Time of the look at behavior, you. Do they see Jesus in you? Who do you lift him up? A sad day to turn this Christians. It's not because uh, they had me break. It's not because we cross. No more. No more. My heart goes out because people like that go out and go, man, SD, man, or same, man, or same, man, or same, man, or same, man, or Posting things like this. No. So when they see you, only look at you, Dr. Watson. They see Jesus. Can we cross out? Teach analogy. Let not many of you become teachers. My brethren, knowing that with such, we will incur a strict judgment that those people who turn to you to teach train. You don't must take the You go, me, man, go teach them. You got a great responsibility. Because you speak to this young mind every day. You indoctrinate them, Lord. Whatever you tell them, Lord, the young mind, Lord, they swallow it. It shapes their character, it shapes their future. You will be called into account one day. Yeah, man. Teaching is central to what God has called us to do. A te- a, a, you are a teacher because you are an image of God. Be by our very nature as an image bearer. We are teacher every time we open a mouth. That's a high and privileged responsibility. That is why God did not give our dog that job. So it was a simple thing, right? Yeah. Dog or Nivola, Nivola dog, but this time I come along with you, dog, I would call him Noni. Noni now. Actually, a short name for Shannon. It was an Angel dog. Don't call him Noni. God would give him, if this is a, if it's a simple thing, God would have given to your dog for doing no. Serious responsibility. He gave the job to accurately representing and teaching others about him to us. Do you mean? We had a wonderful discussion, lesson discussion today. Why not God and create the human image? Man? Why not? Let not say, let there be man and there was man. He did not. He fashioned it carefully, carefully. Because I've got to walk a few. Yeah, man. That's right. But beyond just being an image bearer, we are called to teach one another by the way we conduct ourselves as followers of Jesus. Let's continue and bring across our face. Be it, you're a teacher because your body is the temple of the living God. In other words, you are a walking church. Yeah, man. Everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him when I him, I uh, made him. What? Knowing not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and he are not your own. Powerful statement. You are a walking church. When they see Brand walking, I wouldn't say, oh, Brand go. No. They say, that's the church called Brand walking. That's how it should be. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Where are you taking body? I go to dancing hall. When you take a mouth and go ahead, he's on Facebook to sweat that somebody. You're a temple of the living God. You don't have people sweat out of this house, Lord. No, you will not do that. But you just freely do that, taking that church in front of a mobile or something or whatever and swear at somebody. Hey, did you have care? Yes. Parents got into children. Church members to church members. Christians to the watching public. They watch you. You're not an island. Another man lost the trophy. You influence somebody. Why? But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the judgment. For by thy words 
that thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And if those words, brother, you hurt in somebody's hand, and you're not asked for forgiveness of sins, God is going to call you to account one day and tell him, brother, that mouth is spoiling somebody else. You never asked for forgiveness, my friend. God blame this one. Our uh, brother, of course, he loves sinners. May we confess of our sins and if we come back to God, repent and heart, and you want to do this thing again, he will send them down to the door. Oh, yeah. One day, you're going to face up with those idols. One day. If we have been unfaithful stewards of our words, hope is not lost. Just on 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. A double L. It meant it. A double L means all. Yes. How? Wow. Well, once forgiven, we must sustain that status. We follow Bushlo there. Every time you check him over the house, when you pass a listener. There's a Bible reading center, by the way. I think I don't know where this posted here. You read about five chapters a day. When I want to be now, you should be well ahead of all Psalms going to Yemen. You should be well a job now. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Proverbs. And you should read the Bible within this 365 days by uh, uh, by December 20, 31st, you should cast in Revelation 22. But if you fast, you read before. Go cast in before. There is no any other way more, Christians, for controlling monthly, for having God control you, than dig deeper into His Word, study it every day. Seven Adventist Christians, I tell you, we are lucky. You got a lesson for small beginning from Creator, go cast in big one. Lesson! You got a morning watch every morning. There is a verse there to guide us. And this this month, what are you studying? What's the topic? What's the theme? What? Fellowship. You don't like it there. You got the Bible, you got the whole of ABC there. So much to read for guiding lively. That's how to do it. No any other ways for Christians. If you open your card and you look, you know, with the word of God and prayer line pretty normal there, he will attack you. I am not telling He is waiting there all the time. He becomes a finish now. That's what LNG White is saying. And that's the end of the story. Give the word its own position. That's the word of God, the Bible. As a guide in the hope, let it be regarded as the counselor in every difficulty, the standing in every practice. We have a guidebook, the word of God, and we are inexcusable if we miss the way to heaven for plain directions have been given us. I tell you, this cannot be any clearer. If you miss heaven at all, Christians, you're not blaming God. You're not blaming God. God has bent literally backward to save you and me. And here is why you say Make the study of God's word something treasure in your life. That book must be always on the table every day, apart from bread. Bread and stuff there, what blow God stop reading. Let's read the Bible, study God's word for standing for you and cut physical. Yeah. No any other way. Jesus has left his throne in God. And come down. You know, God died for him. May I, I, there's a lot of heavy things that's been said lately. Don't be discouraged. We serve a gracious, loving God who's willing to forgive no matter how deep we go into sin. If there has been a hard attitude, change. Come to Him. And it's reminded me of this song. Oh, what a Savior. May God bless you. As you ponder upon this word, it's my prayer. And it's holy name. Amen. Amen.